Alright everyone, we're under the driver's side rear of the Nissan Frontier, minus a 2013. I used 45 degree needle nose. I put them through the frame rail. Got it to pinch this on the inside, which goes into that hole right there and that kind of keeps it up and down it lines up with this one here so it's not swiveling I've already done the change to correct it on the truck side so I don't have to change my harness just in case if I ever need another harness I can just replace the harness and not worry about the brake controller and 12 volt supply being swapped so with this connector, in between the tab and that orange piece, deep down, there's a tab you're going to push that way on. And at the same time, after you remove this retaining clip, you're not going to push it through here. You're going to stick a small flathead through here and pop it up. Same on the other side. Remove that. You can see it's like in an M shape. The bottom of the feet are facing this end. So you pop that out and you're going to use a pick, whether it's a 45 degree pick or a straight pick. Uh, it's going to be the small ones like these. gonna do so in between the prong and where that orange piece is deep down you're gonna push that pick down in and this way and then for this side in between the prong and the orange piece you're not pushing on the orange piece that's your seal deep down you push down and that way and you'll feel it release because you'll be pulling on the wire and when you get it right you might have to do a little to the left a little to the right same on the other side that'll get it pushed out then so you don't lose your orientation just hold the wire and flip the connector like I have here that's why the piece that goes into the rail is facing that way so I'll just turn it push it back in just turn it, the connector, push the wires back in. I only heard a click on one of them, but they're both secure, so you may hear a click on both. Then those wires on the back end have a rubber boot seal. You just make sure those are pushed flat. This retaining clip has a ridge on the other side, so they'll also push on it. And uh, so I just made sure that it was flush. The rubber seal was flush with the plastic that's on the other side of this retaining clip. Push the retaining clip in. And so now I'll reapply electrical tape around this. There used to be some. You can kind of see this is black and this has dirt, so there's discoloration. So I'll probably do electrical tape all the way up to here. It wasn't all the way up to here, but I will. And just push this back into the frame rail reconnect my trailer harness this isn't factory I have the I bought this used it's the basic Nissan Frontier 2013 and so I added my own trailer harness and I only recently after about a year I don't pull trailers or haven't so far and uh, I only recently noticed that I was making a seven way plug to two wire uh, quick connect adapter that my Frontier is one of the ones that has the brake controller wire and the 12 supply flip. So I'm, cor I'm correcting it on the truck side. That way if I ever need to replace the harness, I don't have to try to remember that, hey, I need to do the replacement on the other side. On the forums online, 
there's one that you should be able to find the the uh, Nissan service correction bulletin and it says to either pretty much what I told you on this side but do it on this side which involves bending in those kind of u-shaped prongs on the inside and uh, it's the same process you pull off the clip there's rubber boot seals and then you just flip it or you can cut the wires and they want you to cut them at different lengths so that if somebody tries thinking that it hasn't been done or tries reversing it one wire won't reach back so you'll cut one here and this isn't the exact me measurements it's just to cut both at four inches and then remove two inches from one side and you reverse it that way one wire is shorter than the other and that way when you if somebody were to try to flip in it back <clears throat> it's not that possible so you can go that route if you don't want to mess with the truck side but I just wanted to correct it on the truck side that way if I ever had to replace this harness for whatever reason I don't have to worry about messing with this anymore so this is how it looks with it taped back like I said I extended it onto the connector itself that's not how it was originally you were able to see the two wires before um, I'm going to include in the description the link to the video I saw thankfully that I found that uh, talks about deep pinning this kind of connector and I'll try to add as much description to the title that way this video is easy to find if you ever want to change it on the truck harness side and not the the trailer harness side that way if you ever need to replace that you don't have to try to remember or forget or or because it's reversed and then if your trailer has electronic brakes they're gonna get the full 12 volt supply so they're gonna be locked up the moment you plug it in so doing this will prevent that I wanted to fix it because I made a little adapter I've only connected one trailer to my truck. I didn't pull it. I was testing the lighting and it doesn't have electronic brakes so there's no reason for me to figure it out sooner. And I think when I installed this harness back in uh, early 2021 that uh, I had found some information about this being an issue possibly. And luckily I had slightly remembered when I had tested the the adapter I made with the multimeter. And uh, so I was able to get that fixed. In case y'all were wondering, this is the little adapter that I was saying I made. It's seven way to just a 12 volt supply and uh, ground to 12 gauge stranded wire to get at Walmart. Uh, I did put the 16 to 14 gauge quick connects on it. I was able to fit them on there. I think it'd be easier to have something else with quick connects. Most of them aren't going to be 12 gauge on the other side. So uh, I just put the smaller connector on. The wires fitted and crunch it down. It took a few attempts. Uh, left about six inches from here of wire to use. Uh, put the female in on the hot wire just to kind of prevent it from touching if this was the hot wire it'd be easily touching something uh, this was a previous owner that did this not too much of a fan of his work but uh but yeah it just made this uh, the only thing i can think of right now to put on the other side to connect to it is a cigarette lighter socket that way I can put uh, my amber strobe light if I'm ever on the side of the road or helping someone so now hot wires connected to number four and uh, 
Ground is number one. And so now when I touch, I get the appropriate 12 volt supply.